The guitar maker and airport fires demonstrate the two most important factors that contribute to hot work fires. The first is the need to understand what operations are considered hot work. And the second is the need to appreciate and pay attention to the overwhelming number of combustibles that crowd the workplace today. Not knowing what hot work is can lead to serious problems. In the case of the guitar manufacturer, the company thought they understood what hot work was, and normally, no hot work was done without a permit. They didn't associate sawing with hot work, so they didn't use permit. And they didn't think to clear away the combustibles beneath their work either. Which leads to the airport story. In this case, there were no hazardous processes or combustible storages to look out for. And people, when they go in there, say, okay, well, this is a huge room, there's nothing in it, what can burn here? But they didn't look at construction and things like that. Often, the building itself poses a severe fire potential, simply because of the volume of hazardous combustibles used in the construction. So what is hot work? Any temporary operation or any production operation that is not conducted in a fire-safe manner, which produces heat, such as soldering irons, portable heaters, and hot air guns. Any operation that produces open flames, such as torches used for brazing, soldering, thawing pipe, shrink wrapping, or applying roofing materials. Or any operation that produces sparks, such as cutting, welding, grinding, and sawing. And there could be others, too. Remember, if it produces heat, flame, or sparks, it's hot work. And what about combustibles? Look out for anything made of paper, wood, fabric, plastic, or any combination of these. Also, flammable metals, gases, or liquids, even if they're safely sealed in containers. Look at it this way. If you're in an all-steel and concrete building, like a metalworking facility, Maybe you could pull off an unsupervised hot work operation without burning the place down. But under any other circumstance, you're taking a risk. <laughs>